When OpenAI released ChatGPT back in early 2023, a ton of people were wondering how Google got left behind in the AI race. Article after article came out basically saying how Google is now way behind in the AI boom, how the creator of Gmail thinks Google fell behind in the AI arms race, and a ton of people were worried about their stock, their company as a whole because of this AI fall. Now, at that time, it was a big deal because Google had actually started working on AI all the way back in 2010 with their Google DeepMind, which was an early AI contender that has been working on this for about 15 years. In comparison, OpenAI has only been around since 2015, less than 10 years. And with the massive budget that Google has, it would only make sense that they'd be way ahead in the AI race. Well, everything is now changing and moving in Google's direction. We can see here that they have been innovating and dropping massive AI bombs, and they have actually gotten all the way up to 50% of the AI market share for developers. This is a huge, huge, huge deal for Google. As you can see in this chart, their Gemini Flash 1.58 billion parameter model and their Gemini Flash 1.5 model is now a huge part of the market share, 44.8 million and 35.8 million, comparing that to OpenAI's GPT-40 Mini at only 7 million. This is a big, big deal and a huge leap forward for them. Now, a big reason why their models are being so widely used is because of their pricing. So they actually have a huge free tier here. So for a lot of developers that want to use this for their products or for their internal services, they actually have a huge advantage just in the fact that this is free and the model is very, very good. So for, you know, free of charge, I can do up to 15 requests per minute. Um, I can have up to 1 million tokens per minute and up to 1500 requests per day. So for a free tier, that's actually really, really good. Now, if we go to their paid model here, you can see that it's only three cents per 1 million token. And we actually get up to 7.5 cents for long prompts that are 128K. So if we compare that to ChatGPT's 4 mini model, which is their biggest model right now, it's literally five times more expensive. It's 15 cents per 1 million tokens. Now, if we compare that to 3.5 Sonnet, it's literally a hundred times less expensive. They charge $3 per million tokens. So if I'm using a model that doesn't need 3.5 Sonnet, why would I pay 100 times more to use an AI model when I could either get it either for free or if I'm doing a lot of requests, get it for only three cents per million tokens. So the fact that they have very capable models that do a very good job with AI and that they're this inexpensive is one of the reasons why they're getting so far ahead. And obviously they can do this because they can stand to lose money for now or at least break even until they get to the point where they can actually make money with this product, which is what they did with YouTube for years. It's a known fact that YouTube was not profitable for a very, very long time. It costs a lot of money to have these big video services servers until they scale to the point that they could actually sell ads on the platform and make money. And right now they're obviously very profitable. So another big advantage they have right now is their VO2 model. So I actually just made a video on this as well, but basically this is way better than Sora. They've been working on this in the background right now. And I mean, some of the videos that have come out of this are just insane. So uh, again, I've tested every single AI video model, and this is by far the best one. I know I say this in a ton of videos, and just to be clear, the reason is because they keep getting so much better and every model I test seems to just be better than the last. And this is no exception. When I looked at Sora and I tested Sora, my mind was absolutely blown. I mean, I don't see how they're not gonna have a huge advantage with VO2 now, Google. This is just so, so, so good. So Marquise Brownlee showing some of the examples. These come straight out of uh, Google's website. You can see this researcher here looking through a microscope, this cool little puppy on a flamingo floaty. I mean, that looks like real life. And it has animal movements and it looks like real life. Uh, these flamingos here drinking water. This is so, so good, guys. I mean, this is like really mind-blowing stuff. And they also have a new image model as well, their image gen model. So Mid is already way far behind. They charge too much much. Uh, they didn't leap ahead. They still probably have one of the best, you know, image models right now. But if I can generate this type of image for free using image gen from Google, why would I pay for it? Right. Just going back to like what I was talking about earlier with their, with their tokens, right? If you can get these tokens for free or at a huge discount and it does a really good job, what do I care if it's a little bit better? If I'm going to pay this huge amount, it doesn't make sense. Right. So having these models that are free and really, really good is a huge advantage for them. So a few more videos here. This one I thought was really cool. This cat looking into the mirror and seeing a lion. So a cat roars while looking at its reflection in the mirror, but instead sees a lion. Pretty amazing stuff. And then some of the cinematic stuff is really good as well. I mean, the, the character fidelity of the face. I mean, look how the face of this officer really stays the same throughout this whole interaction here. Talking to this stormtrooper. 
this dog video. I actually showed this in my last example as well. And this one I thought was so cool. These guys walking through this like Antarctic sort of alien facility here, whatever this thing is. So, so, so cool. I absolutely love to see it. And then of course this alien uh, itself walking through the video here. So Google is leaping ahead in the AI world. They're really going to take over this market share. And with all the resources they have, I personally think OpenAI is in trouble, especially if you factor in all the drama going on in with that company right now, which I'm not going to get into in this video, or it would be about an hour long. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please drop a comment below as well.